Hi, and welcome back to Frostpunk. So, we have some scouts waiting orders. So, we're going to explore that. Something's amiss at the observatory. Snow covers precious instruments, and the dome is open, letting a thin column of smoke. Somebody's inside. Let's explore. The sun is dimming. Instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explain that they came here for help but found everyone dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. Loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. So do we escort this, um, do we escort the survivors to the city? Send the survivors to the city, or leave the survivors to their fate. I think we'll escort them back. And then we can make sure they get back safely. So that's how scouts dealt with. Whole situation is a bit dire. We have researched the Thumper. And we were wanting to research this tier here, which means we need more wood. So got people on this. Yes, some. Anyone on the coal mine? None. We need to divert some of these to there. And we need the rest to gather in wood. It's night time, so we might as well just let time blow by. Alright, we have an issue here. I'll put the heating on now. And we can take, we can't take any more off there, though. The problem we've got is need to man the, the um, medical post. We need to cut wood and we need coal. So we need the wood to do the research but we need the coal to keep the generator on. Let's see what happens. Okay the scouts have returned. They bring 18 engineers, 4 children 12 workers, the wood we needed, and some raw food. That's good. And we're going to go out and look for the others. So let's get the scouts out. location which is here let's get some of these workers the work shift starts. out and we'll get the wood in that's the medical post fully banned now we can do some research which we want that one And the reason we want I wanted to get this tier was because that's going to get me access to the generator up, tower upgrades and a energy hub upgrade I think it's going to be. I need those two so then I can progress onto this tier because I've got a feeling that the temperature is going, it was 30, it went down to 40. I've got a feeling it's going to go a bit further down. We're going to need housing as well. Now I seem to... We can actually learn that one and get those buildings in. 
We're going to need a more substantial building for this outer ring. It's going to take a while to get the power and heat to there. So let's get it moving along. We're going to need to build certainly another hunting lodge. Put it there. Take a path across there. Okay, what have we got here? The rest of our people made a camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. Let's explore it. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We'd been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'll begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Let's escort the survivors to the city. We're not reading the journal entries because they just repeat what we've already seen. I think what we could do for the moment... Have we got enough people? We'll get maximum onto there and get all of those engineers out there. So we've just got the people back. So what we're going to do is put the majority of them onto there. That's them working. Let's send our scout out to the gloomy cave. Our research is nearly completed. Our call situation is depressing. So if we can get some more people on to call duty. And let's progress a bit. Okay, that's convenient. So the drawing boards have now been researched. Let's research those bunk houses. I know there's a lot of fast forwarding at the moment, but because the community is so small, there's not a constant flow of jobs. Captain, some of our people are here to talk about the lack of food. They've been hungry for days now, and they fear that soon they'll begin to starve. They want you to do something. Let's feed everyone. Let's feed them and stock some spile some of the food. Let's feed them. And what we're going to have to do is definitely build under the hunter's hut. And let's get a path going there. Food's in better situation. Uh, our coal's in a better situation than what it was. Let's take ten of those off and put them all. Put them all into hunting. Scouts have arrived. This cave is or was inhabited. There are a number of footprints leading to its entrance. We should check there to see if someone's still up alive there. Let's explore. We can hear the terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. 
There are people trapped inside and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. We've got to attack the bears. When our scouts attacked the bears, the people inside the cave joined them and together we drove our beasts away. Unfortunately, the scouts died of their injuries. The people they saved set out towards our city by the map made by the scouts. RIP Scouts sent out some more scouts and we're going to meet the um, survivors. Now we have researched a call thumper I think, yes we did. I'm beginning to think now is the time. The reason I say now is the time is I think it's going to need. Hang on a minute, that can't go there. just thinking I could save myself a lot of work by putting down gatherer huts that way I wouldn't need quite as many people to pick Here, let's plant them there. With a path there. That should get that coal. See, the temperature's gone down again. And let's progress this on a little bit. So, what do we need now? I think a medical post upgrade would be a good move. But. I'm going to need resources. We're going to need that sawmill. And that's a good place to leave it. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.